a wall of tattered and dirty backpacks. Tucked away inside, the American dreams of the people that carried them. They all belong to migrants trying to reach America through the Sonoran Desert along the U.S. and Mexico border. Evidence of the human stories that are at the heart of the issue of migration. The everyday things they packed for their journey, abandoned en route after they were no longer needed. Some perhaps dropped by mistake or left by those who didn't survive. All of it is now art, part of an exhibit at the Parsons School of Design at the New School in New York. They were collected by Jason de Leon, an anthropologist and professor. For years, he's led expeditions to the desert to salvage and catalog the artifacts. Looking at things like um, tattered Bibles, worn out sneakers, uh, family photos that have been recovered. They, these items speak to, um, to different people's experiences during this really horrific process. And, um, you know, for me, collectively, they speak to a process that, that literally millions of people have gone through. On a 2012 research mission, De Leon and his students not only came across artifacts, but also a body of a young migrant from Ecuador. Some of the students were so impacted by what they saw, they got the GPS coordinates tattooed on their body in order to never forget it. And now that's been part of the exhibit. These are all artifacts that were collected on the border between uh, Arizona and Mexico, and they were on the Arizona side. De Leon Each collaborated border. with two artists to bring this together. It's traveling across the country, just as President Donald Trump begins to fulfill his campaign promises to deport illegal immigrants and build a border wall. No matter what you think about illegal uh, migration, pro, con, whatever, nobody should be dying in the desert. And that's what's happening. So this is what this exhibition is about. The stories of real people through their personal belongings left on the ground in the desert in their search for opportunity they can't find at home. Gabriel Ozondo, Al Jazeera, New York.